Yes, <clears throat> yes good day everybody. Today in the mechatronics class, we would like to see about the special purpose microprocessors that are utilized to run the practical applications to apply in the practical applications. In the previous class, we have been taken the microprocessor or microcontroller, how it is being controlled with respect to the normal simple devices or simple machineries which we are utilizing in our domestical purpose or mini loading and unloading conditions and simple applications such as automatical camera and at that particular time there is engine management system washing machine etc we have been seen in the previous classes and in the today's class we will be proceeding furtherly uh, by the application of this uh, special purpose microprocessor how the controller uh, will give the particular guidance to work the entire objects or practical in the practical applications in the industrial fields chemical fields composition fields medical fields etc how we are being utilizing let us discuss in detail so special purpose microprocessors the processor is nothing but one of the component <coughs> the subcomponent of the microcontroller and moving on upon moving on this architecture it has a wide scope of utilization and presently it is in use practically moving on with respect to the, the types of microcontrollers before moving on to the processor the types of microcontrollers will be having a, a, a minimal look at it microcontrollers a computer system for a single integrated circuit so processor is a part of the controller but a controller is computer system overall system that is integrated in a circuit in a single integrated circuit it is designed for uh, control applications such as ambient systems. Moving on to the DSP, nothing but the digital signal processors. It is designed for uh, processing the signals by cascading from one device to another device with the help of uh, this BI unit, first interface unit between one device to the other device there will be an interconnectivity the microcontroller will take care of processing the signals in a prescribed format uh, by executing the programs that have been written in the processor process and executing in a compared mode with respect to the operation of the entire device. Let's be in depth on, let's go on in depth of uh, this digital, what is meant by the digital signal processing. So replacing of analog signal processing schemes or nothing but the digital signal processing. Presently, uh, there is a wide utilization of these digital signal processing systems in uh, even the minute cases also. Such as uh, our even our, in our automobiles, in the bikes also we are seeing the uh, digital display systems instead of analog systems that we are utilizing in the previous uh, strategy. Previously, we are utilizing we are being utilizing this analog format that the neutral indicates how much speed the um, what we call is uh, uh, 
a vehicle is moving and uh, how much fuel is existing within the tank is indicating with respect to the leader i think so those and all are indicating with respect to the digital display presently that is it is moving with 40 what we is displaying on the screen 60 60 is displaying on the screen etc depending upon the variation of the um, speed varying of speed so why this digital crossing is necessary high noise immunity is the first indication so noise levels will be getting decreased to in some extent and it gives the siren implications high precision when compared to the when in the analog format we use it to identify the fluctuations that is taking place by the needle and always it will be getting vibrated but in the digital display even that sinusoidal vibrations also will be rectified and a clear cut number will be displayed on the screen to us next moving on with respect to the next problem next point that results does not depend upon the environmental changes such as temperature, humidity, pressure, etc. So here, in the analog format, when the temperature has been increased or decreased, or internally, if the pressure has been increased, depending upon that, the values will be getting changed. But in the case of this digital signal processing, it will be eradicating to a some extent. And it allows the implementation of uh, complex processing procedures such as filtering. Filters are nothing but here the electrical devices, that is, operational amplifiers, that the voice signals or the overall uh, commands will be amplifying to a prescribed frequency levels, either to be increasing frequency level or to the decreasing frequency level. And depending upon that, the monitoring will be getting taken place. Next one, our results are repeated in time. So almost all the results will be displayed or obtained within the particular time period. The changes in processing or procedure does not impose change in the hardware. So whatever the controller gives the signals or the orders to the processor, simply the processor will execute such a kind of uh, actions by following the program that is written in the processor. Next, signal processing procedures. There are how many processes are existing in the case of signal processing? First one it is filters. Just now we have discussed the filters that is op amps or uh, uh, full amps. Full amps and uh, half amps, that is operational amplifiers and uh, <coughs> the full amplifiers. Yeah, I repeat once again, uh, I re am repeating that no more personal charts are uh, encouraged here, right? Personal charts check on the love invitation. The chat box for Mantan, which is a personal image, is going to display out there. Why not it? Filters, convolutions, and next to transforms. So transforms in the sense here, transforming from one state of electrical status to another state of electrical status. Variation of voltage factors plays a major important role here with respect to the time sectors, with respect to the time factors, where it is indicated with respect to the Fourier series or Laplace or Z transformations. So transformations here involves a subclassification of number of uh, number of types. That is Fourier transforms, Laplace transforms, and Z transforms. And indicated with respect to a simple formula, that is y of t is equal to the integration of minus infinity to plus infinity f of tau into t minus tau dt 
right? Where y of t is an output function, that the signal which will be an towards the output after processing xt is the input signal, the input functional signal. Ft is transformation or processing function. So, for example, xt is the input given with an five. Megahertz of frequency or five hertz of frequency. After processing, in the processing, the processing conditions that has been given to the system is nothing but increasing of that frequency. So input frequency is only the five hertz. It has to be increased to ten hertz, and output signal need to be processed. So additioning of or performing an additional of plus five hertz to the input signal gives the output at ten. 10 hertz of frequency. So upon integrating, it will be increasing. We know that upon differentiating, it will be increasing to a slighter range. Upon integration, it will be increasing furtherly. Right? So infinity in the sense, in the place of infinity, you can give them a constant number to which one uh, the frequency, whatever the frequency that uh, we need or for us it is necessary. In the digital field, the integration change into sum, and hence the uh, formulation has been displayed here. That is, y n of t is equal to function of k t into n t minus k t. The same discrete output signal y of n t x of n t discrete input signal function of n t discrete transformation function, right? What is the main architecture characteristics, architectural characteristics of uh, digital signal processor in the sense which multiplies nothing but if the two heads of frequency has been given as an input, it has to multiply or maximum output we need to get at 10 heads of frequency such that the integration need to be done at an frequency range of integration of 0 or 2 starting with 2 input so integration of 2 to 10 then we will be taking the value like that so here integration of input is 2 that is 2 to integration up to 10 here 10 we will be taking so such that multiplying and accumulating the unit max so it replaces the classical ALU. ALU in the sense we are aware of this ALU that is arithmetic logical unit. Hence multiple data and program buses. So multiple data. So n number of operations need to be performed simultaneously that is multiple data and even n number of operations in the sense additions will be as in separates and multiplications will be separate divisions etc and program buses. So program buses in the sense I have already told you that BIU unit bus interface unit that is in contact or wire contact between one system to the other system to transfer the information from one register to the other register. Here the two to four buses specifies nothing but two to four wire connections will be existing from one device to the another device indeed to transfer the information from one device to the another device. Next one it is internal memory per program and data. So internal memory what will be existing? RAM, temporary storage, ROM, permanent storage, AP ROM memories for data and programs. So multiple register sets and more register blanks. Right. And next even the string oriented address board that is automatic indexing, complex multiply and accumulate instructions. So instructions are nothing but the uh, series of uh, steps that has been that are written by us in the program. So here, what is meant by a MAC? Multiply and accumulate a unit, right? Here, the program bus, the program bus is being given with respect to a muxer. Muxer, muxer is nothing but demultiplexer, multiplexer will be called multiplexer demultiplexer or multiplexer right for writing the data multiplexer and yes and for uh, deleting the data in the register that is demultiplexer and hence this multiplexer will grasp the data 
from n number of devices and accumulate that data into n series combination or uh, as per the schedule uh, that is given in the input and get the data <coughs> to n shift level and will integrate integration for an integration category we will be utilizing this mixer because here from the shift theta bus onwards we are getting the data to the mixer and from here mixer to the 16 bits of information parallel multiple multiplies 32 bits shifting shifting is nothing but changing of information from one register to the other register that is nothing but for example in the d drive we are storing with a name of in one folder the data is stored with the name of fourth year mechanical students simultaneously internal marks are existing in the d drive and external marks are existing in the f drive so multiplexing place that in the d drive from the data it has to be taken and simultaneously in the f drive also data external marks also it should be taken and hence integrating that combining of both those marks of and their mechanical data that is the task will be done by multiplexer and executing into a single file right executing into a single file and hence if there is any logical operations uh, need to be performed or mathematical calculations need to be performed that will be stored in the accumulator we all already aware of this accumulator accumulator is nothing but a temporary storage device so this temporary storage device if it satisfies the as per conditions then the operations will be getting performed or else if there is any further calculations it will be getting revamped up to the automatic and logical calculations once again so after completing it it will be again transferred to the particular data bus which has to be stored and next even for the multiplexer again and at the storing data level <clears throat> so this is the architecture of a mac so architecture in the sense overall composites which are existing or overall uh, um, uh, components that are being performed with respect to the input data. Moving with respect to the internal scheme of uh, DMS. So DMF is nothing but one of the processor which will act depending upon the controller and by taking the uh, values in a specified uh, registers and working as per the given characterizations and all, we also call this as an internal scheme is nothing but the architecture what are the subclassifications that are including so the here these wires will be specifying from one characterizations to or one component to another component this pc pc is a program counter this is a stack data and rom permanent storage and from that the data will be analyzed to the RAM data that is temporary storage from here the calculations need to be performed that is data input uh, practitioner or uh, nothing but the mac and these are the shift registers where just we have discussed as the f drive d drive and next this the c drive c drive and the computer storing and commonly those data will be accessed by the main bus unit and these and all are the lines nothing but the communication channels bus interface unit that we are calling so e cables all will be calling as an interconnectivity cables all will call as a bus interface unit and this is the schematical of a tms anyway whatever understanding i have shown this and this is uh, having uh, in number of bits bits in the sense capacity of storing the information so 16 bit of information 32 bit of information 64 bit of information 72 bit of information 128 bit of information like that it will be getting varied such as the, if the capacity of storage has been increased as per the program level the uh, bits of information will be increasing so we all know that 4 bits, 4 bits is equal to 1, 8 bits is equal to 1 byte. So it will be adding with respect to the bytes and bytes too. If it has been increased furtherly to n up to 10, that is megabytes, bits, bytes, megabytes, 
next one it is gigabytes next one it is terabytes so the storage capacity further be increased then the variation or progression of data storage will be increased first one it is in bits of information next one bytes of information bytes bytes of information next one it is kilobytes kilobytes of information kb next one it is megabytes of information that is mb and next one it is gb gigabytes and next one it is terabytes so this is the variation that the capacity of the storage will be increasing furtherly so what are the applications of this dsps and the electrical motors and actuators will be utilizing this that is nothing but the program will be how to be stored stored here and automatically based upon the instruction given to this it has to recall and perform the progress progression nothing but motors has to be rotated or actuators are nothing but the motors connected with respect to a components so those will be getting into an actuation so intelligent sensors so sensors we have already discussed the different types of sensors in mechatronic systems also there is some fluid pressure sensors hydraulic sensors pneumatic sensors temperature sensors uh, level based sensors displacement sensors etc we have been learned so the application of uh, sensors at uh, the uh, frequency point of view nothing but the operation as per the operation have to choose the type of a sensor at that particular place for commencing the required task to be done so electronic toys uh, 3d graphical accelerators image processing etc what are the limitations existing for the dsps limited frequencies for online processing so in online processing uh, the process time of uh, signal sample uh, limits the maximum sampling frequency and the practical frequency variation it limits to the half of the sampling frequency so hence it is in uh, some of the drawback for this uh, digital signal processing and discrete input and output values it is limited number of discrete values and uh, discrete processing also even right it discontinues uh, in the case of uh, analog schemes moving on with respect to the microcontroller so we already discussed with respect to the microcontroller that uh, what are the components existing in this microcontroller and we are all aware that microprocessor is a part of microcontroller and microcontroller is nothing but an uh, uh, a VLSA system integrated circuit system which comprises of all the electrical components in your board. We will be calling it as a motherboard in any of the electrical circuit. And it is consisting of the CPU, ROM, RAM, nothing but the temporary storage, permanent storage, interrupt system, nothing but indeed to stop and next pass, continue, like that. There is nothing but the interrupt control, input and output ports timers and counters so how within the how much time it has to be progressed or within counters how many times that uh, process is being scheduled in that counters need to be analyzed and if the analog uh, actuators are being existing then the data obtained analytically need to be converted to the digital mode that is in such a case we'll be utilizing analog to digital converters simultaneously if the task has been done by the voltage signals in digital mode, it needs to be converted. Nothing but that the voltage signals need to be done for the motors, given to the motors. And the, uh, for that particular motors, robotic hands, in the case of robots, robotic hands will be getting attached to the motors. And if the orientation to 30 degrees has been given, that hand will be raised to 30 degrees. Hence, that analog will display in the form of voltage to that is digital to analog or uh, lifting of that particular hand to a 30 degrees nothing but converting from digital to the analog taken place so other interfaces even will be getting progressed by this process so what is the destination here where we will be utilizing and what are the advantages so controlling and monitoring applications plays a major important role in the case of control systems and the embedded systems embedded in the sense nothing but uh, 
combining of n number of mini circuits to a maximum circuit and uh, identifying the overall task to be done uh, and even the intelligent sensors how the sensors are being uh, sensing the different uh, uh, programs as per the different programs given to the particular sensors nothing but when a vehicle is moving or uh, when the activity is being done and as a simple example that we have been discussed in the previous classes that the washing machine application so it need to be switched on and the first one uh, the water need to be taken for filling the drum for initial clothes and after completing the uh, after filling it the sensor uh, level sensor will uh, highlight and uh, give the feedback to the controller and hence by taking the signal at the input level of water supply supply will be getting stopped so such kind of uh, different types of sensors in immediately if the water after entering into the drum if the temperature need to be increased then the temperature sensor will be getting highlighted and electrical power supply will be supplied to the that particular sensor or transit user which will be heating the water and how much time it need to be heated or up to how much degrees of centigrade that water need to be increased by increasing the 30 degree up to an 30 to 45 degrees after reaching the 45 degrees sensor will highlight and give the signal that as per the program given 45 degrees that will uh, identify and sense that uh, signal and transfer the signal to the controller and then controller will stop the power supply for uh, these uh, temperature sensors or temperature actuators and hence 45 degrees temperature will be sufficient like that so uh, uh, by reaching uh, generally what we'll be doing uh, when uh, our uh, heating of water there will not be any feedback the simply will be keeping the um, uh, uh, water with any of the beaker on a stove and will be increasing and nominally we will be seeing that whether that particular temperature is sufficient or not and with that we will be going for the burning so simultaneously we don't know that nominally we will be calculating that this much of heatness is sufficient but it doesn't calculate exactly the temperature so in this case exactly the sensor will give the feedback how much temperature need to be maintained whether the temperature has been attained or not such conditions will be monitored and give the feedback to the controller as the controller will take care of providing the supply or cutting off the supply after reaching the required conditions so what are the advantages these are very much low in cost or economical factor these are available in less dimensional addresses and reduced in power consumption moving on with respect to the architecture or structure or architecture of 8051 microcontroller there will be a ram and rom okay and four simple ports output ports and from here input lines and output lines will be given the input uh, to the system and this is the uh, bus interface unit which will be having an interconnectivity for uh, each and every device and this is all uh, this uh, architecture is nothing but overall this architecture is a microcontroller nothing but motherboard in that motherboard rom containing of number of uh, registers ram containing of number of registers that is commonly connected to a bus interface unit serial information is connected to this with one device analog to digital converter is existing here nothing but the data will be taken into the a to d a to d converter and after performing this uh, the output value will be displayed here in the analog format or else it will be transferred to you from after converting it will be transferred to the cpu and cpu is a common factor and this will be getting the halted or interrupted or uh, can be regenerated with respect to a controlling factor so this is an integrating of uh, different uh, components into a common board and performing the tasks as per the program of input given at an IO lines that is here specified the IO lines IO lines from the program so components here we all know that the CPU executes the instructions wrong 
that is an account and storage device, RAM, data memory, which stores only to a preset value in truck systems, and it both the internal and external events, and clock generator, synchronizing the CPU, etc. Input output ports, serial channel, timers, and the distilled analog converter, and analog to digital converter, and watchdog. The pulse width modulation that is pulse width modulation in the sense increasing of the frequency level or decreasing of the frequency level and next even uh, the multiplying factor or that is suddenly increasing the maximum frequency range and these characteristics of cpu reduced in the instruction set raw memory is limits to the 0 to 22 kb per program and which can be accepted by internal and external memory also can be connected externally so external devices are we all know that from the cd it is an external device pen drive is an external device uh, simultaneously the external uh, uh, flip flops external registers and even the external data drive right ram uh, will be having a maximum running capacity that is 128 to 256 bytes and 4 into 8 internal registers that is 32 bit for 8, 8 4 is 32 that is instruction register instructional registers will be existing 4 by 8 the special functions will be mapped and the data RAM memory space will be maintained in the and after saving it will be shifted to a permanent storage memory Right, interfaces. So interfacing what are the interfacing characterizations existing here? Uh, components existing. From input and output, there will be an interfacing channel because based upon the input given, the programming we need to be getting that. And after getting a particular strategy, the over from how many ports the input channels need to be taken, and from how many uh, uh, output ports the commonly the data need to be sent to and different components that need to be annihilated and how much time the operation is being performed or concerned operation is performed and count does how many times it has been performed will be calculated and if there is any counting events it will be counting delay generations if there is any uh, delay as per the uh, any inconvenience happen in the machinery the delay time will be uh, run until the execution of overall the program as per our basic conditions next one is watchdog for self-control or of the proper uh, uh, operation controlling of proper operation and resets itself resetting the uh, primary mode and default conditions it will be highlighted much more and how many modes are existing here will be having a glance there is a normal mode all components will be working or supplying as per the nominal conditions that are programmed in the microprocessor ideal mode only the memory and the clock generator is supplied to it because low power consumption or uh, it will these components will be used very much uh, 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 less in white less in white and power down mode only the memory is supplied in order to preserve the parameters the power consumption is almost undetectable because uh, the ultimately the power down is uh, in the condition when, um, the, when it is the power down, ultimately it is specifying that there is an internal uh, contact with this or else there is an uh, discomfort existing with respect to the connectivity that is being taken place. Uh, as for the processor variations, depending upon the speed and storage capacity, and integration capacity the nomenclatures or nominal names will be specified here here type specifies that how much of information will be stored in here 
either permanent or temporary and at what frequency range or what speed factors the um, overall uh, programs are being run and with how much when we are transferring the file nothing but one uh, one uh, a movie file in vlc player 2 uh, which will be playing in one movie file 2 from computer to a pen drive will be highlighting that 128 kb of speed it is moving 240 kb ps it is moving like that we will be identifying that while transferring the file from the source uh, source uh, file to the uh, source register to the destination register nothing but destination register here uh, specifies the pen drive or cd and the source is nothing but our computer system to in which folder or in which register or in a d drive or e drive it is getting stored in that file in that folder so almost all this pipe will be specified as per the capacity that is ram rom and speed and this will be comprising of another uh, connectivity units also that is two counters and four ports need to be exist for it that is nothing but four ports is nothing but power supply for executing or switching on and second port is for input conditions third port is nothing but for uh, um, the interconnectivity to the controller and the fourth port is nothing but the output and these and all will be cascading cascading and nothing but interconnectivity with respect to one system to the another system but other uh, some of the facilities the families related to the a type of uh, microcontrollers and these are some of the companies given the nomenclature with respect to the both alphabetical center the numbering systems that is intel intel core microchip arm simultaneously with motorola and even we are having the uh, toshiba HCL, some other companies also related to it. HP, Toshiba, Dell, Intel, and the Dell uh, almost it will be co signed with respect to a uh, basic formation that is Intel. And the Dell will be having the processor that is Intel, Intel Core processor like that, and series will be getting varied that is i2 processor, i3 processor, i4 processor, i5 processor. And in the present generation, if you have a look at the processor range, uh, nothing but i7 processor it plays a major role. That is nothing but the speed it will be very much increased. And even we will be identifying in our mobiles also that net will be very much speed, very much high in speed for get, uh, from getting the uh, results. When you have type or any of the information or else uh, wise recognition has been given immediately the result will be displayed on the screen so nothing but uh, processor speed plays a major role that within a fraction of a seconds only the overall calculations are being done here so that is the uh, characterization and overall this connectivity will be existing within the motherboard and that uh, assembling or having interconnectivity for all these um, common electrical family is nothing but the microcontroller is an assembling of all the electrical components at a single sheet which is uh, cascaded cascading nothing but shoulder cascading having interconnectivity from one system to another system so these are uh, some of the other families and these will be ranging on the frequency variations that we have been seen in our uh, uh, screen also that is uh, tabular column specifies here that is ROM, EP ROM, executing program ROM, executing of program from the particular ROM that is by taking the values from the um, permanent storage device permanent storage device and for these two counters two times need to be performed two counters are needed and even the four ports need to be executed 
four ports and eight analog channels on eight bits and a last stop. Simultaneously, for this, how many pins are existing in the sense? Four plus two, six. Six plus eight, 14. And most of 15. And next, for an conclusion of input power supply, one. So hence, a 16 bit of information. And hence, the maximum it is 16. And this 16 has been categorized in this form. Simultaneously, here also in the case of ATC 532, 16 also existing and next 24 is also existing. So 24 in the sense that many pins will be existing for both left side and as well as for the right side of our processor. So left side will be acting as a major power supply for transferring the data and right side one pin will be for transferring the output data and left side will be an address bar pins and one ground channel and right side will be some of the increasing in pin strategy and we will be having another uh, uh, one more class regarding it that is pin diagram of uh, each and every uh, processor and widely we will be utilizing 8085 microprocessor or 8086 microprocessor and both pin diagrams architecture that we have been seeing now and uh, both pin diagrams we will be having a look in the next class and uh, these processors will be controlled by a uh, major controller that is 8051 microcontroller and that's the controller uh, just we are discussing here that is 8051 controller 8031 or 8051 controller and most probably in the present marketing field we are utilizing only this 8051 microcontroller and DMA data machining uh, conditions, arithmetic calculations, and overall the RAM speed increase in further space 8057 DMA controller, data multiplexing controller that is 8257. There will be a particular uh, numbering for it 8257. And that number also is uh, having a special cognition to it. We'll be looking in next classes. Thank you. If you have any queries, you can raise that. So, how many of you are present? So, number 10, Jilbert, Jilbert, Venkatesh, and Janam Chitra.